Okay everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to add voice, music, and sound effects to a video using Cakewalk Sonar software. The video we're going to use is just a little, we had a lot of snow down here in Atlanta, amazingly. And this is some video of my dog out in the backyard, my black lab, Millie out playing in the snow she's got a white stuffed animal out there and she's just having a big old time um, but I'm gonna show you how to add music to that and your voice in sonar to create a YouTube video most people don't know that sonar can import videos and I'm gonna show you how to do that so I'm gonna go to import video and I have a um, video down here that I've saved and now I'm importing the video into sonar okay and this is the video preview and if you will right click on it and go to stretch options and select preserve aspect ratio then click the minimize button at the top and you can make your video small enough so you can see your video on the screen while you're looking at your work area now we have the video imported and it's on this timeline up here this track it says video thumbnails are currently hidden you can go to display frames absolute frames and it'll show your frames up there on the uh, timeline so you can see what your video looks like you can also show hide thumbnails so you can see your thumbnails up there so I have uh, loaded some music that I have in my quicksounds.com music library and I'm going to use it for the very front just to open the video uh, where it just describes what we're going to do in the video. It is going to go down here on track 3. You can see I've already got it loaded there. Uh, so I'm going to put opening music right here where you can label this. and. Uh, it's going to open like that and now if I right click here on top of the music it's, it's a little slower when you have video in there if I right click and click on vi envelopes create track envelope volume I can fade it out as it comes up to the other video so you have music for that so here I have the music playing I'm going to turn it up a little bit Okay, now as soon as my dog gets in the picture there, I would like to be out of that. So let's see if we can find that spot. There it is right there. This is uh, just a quick little introduction piece. So I'm going to go fade this down. And I'm also going to trim it by, if I hover the mouse right there, you can see it will trim right back to the spot. I'm going to make another little mark just to make sure it gets out. And I'm just going to call it Millie Music. M-I-L-L-I-E Music. So you kind of have a theme for the dog. Which she is actually sitting right here behind me. And let's fade it up a little so it didn't. Just jump in on you. There we go. And there's Millie out in the snow. Let's see what we've got here. Here's old Millie. She's out in the snow and running around, having a big time. Having a big old time. This is this music is similar to the Peanut soundtrack, so I'm going to make another envelope up here for this, and also one. For the other music clip because they have to be the same volume since they're looping. Okay, here we go. Uh, we'll go to envelopes, create track, volume. So this one is set as you can see at zero, and that one's set at zero. I'm going to pull this one down just a touch, maybe, like to minus two. And you can see that right over here. We're at minus two. And I'm going to pull this one down to minus two so they'll match up volume wise. So we're going to put a little nodule right there by double clicking. And we're going to fade this clip out right there. I'm going to back this up to where it ends. 
see if it fades at about the right spot. All right, let's find our opening music by going to the front, and I'm going to hit Control C and copy that piece of music, and I'm going to scoot to the end, and I'm going to paste it by hitting Control P. And I'm going to put it on this close music track. I hit Control P, and it asks me, do I want to start on track four? I go yes, and it pastes it into that track. So it fades out at just the right spot. Now we have video at the front along with music. And we also have music at the back end. So we have music at the front, music at the back, and the peanuts -y kind of music in the middle under Millie running around. So now to combine the movie and the audio all together, I'm going to go to Select All or Control A to File, Export, Video. We'll make it a Windows Media Video. You also have the option of making it a QuickTime movie. But I'm going to make it a Windows Media Encoding Options. You've got several choices here, and if you want the best quality, like for for YouTube, I would probably pick best quality VBR. Then you can put the title of the video, your name under author, uh, copyright, any of that kind of stuff that you want to put that will be embedded in the movie, and then click OK. And in, right here you will find a folder that you're going to put it in, then type the name of your movie, and hit save and that's all there is to it and it will combine all your tracks uh, your video any reverbs any volume levels or any of that kind of stuff that you did exactly what you're seeing on the screen it'll combine it into a movie well that's it for this video I hope this has helped you you can find more videos like this at dannyjonline.com or musicandaudioblog.com